Hey guys, this is Varun here and I'm here with Prashanti and we are going to walk you through a comprehensive tutorial on the overhead press with a bar. This is an exercise we don't see a whole lot of but it's something uh, most people can do a lot more of. So we are going to start with bar height. Right? This is something a lot of people actually get wrong. So you want the bar to be set around sternum height. So for Prashanti it's right near the top of her sternum. Now as far as grip width goes, you want the bar to be just outside shoulder width. So I'm just going to pan around so you can see her hands. So for her, her index fingers are just maybe on the smooth part of the bar or on right on the knurling. So that's going to be about shoulder width for her. Can you just take an extra wide grip? So most people, they'll just pick the bar up from here. This is way too wide and maybe just go super narrow. So trouble with both these grips is your forearm is not vertical, right? So just outside shoulder width, your forearm is going to be about perpendicular to the ground and that's going to be the most efficient position to actually press the bar from. Now, final point on grip, your wrist position. So maybe if we could just pan around to her wrist. Again, a common mistake that we see is a wrist that's bent and extended, right? So maybe you can stand up with the bar from there. So you'll often see the bar resting on the shoulder, wrists are bent back and the bar is deep in the palm. Again, your wrists are going to be in a weak position to press from here. A better grip is with a slightly extended wrist but fairly straight. So again, you can see this straight line you can draw from her elbow to the wrist to the bar. That's going to be the most optimal position to press from. Okay, so step number two is going to be the unrack. This is something most of us take very casually, but this is where we can also lose a lot of tension. So we're going to spend a little bit of time here. So I'm just going to have Prashanti unrack the bar. Now, before she starts, if we could just get a view of her elbow position, so you might have to come right behind her. So I want you to notice that her elbows are tucked in close, right? They're not flared out, maybe just flare them out. Okay, and the second thing is um, her elbows are slightly in front of the bar, right? So maybe just pick it up with uh, the elbows slightly behind. Again, with a heavy weight, that's not gonna be very efficient. So let's get back under the bar, elbows in and forward. Now she's gonna take two steps back. One, two, and she's ready to go. So, um, quick word on foot position here. So. She's going to stand with feet about shoulder width apart. Most people tend to go a little bit too wide sometimes, so super wide there. Nothing wrong with it, but it's hard to get enough tension from your feet on the press here. Uh, a more common mistake you see is people think it's a military press, somehow my feet have to be gather together and that makes a difference. Again, it's giving her a really narrow base of support, it's going to make the press a lot harder. So we just like uh, shoulder width apart as like a good Goldilocks kind of position. Okay, we've spoken about grip width, we've spoken about how to unrack, now we're going to come to the press itself. So I'm just going to have Prashanti take the bar back, unrack, step back. So now I'm just going to have her do a rep on the press. So couple of points to note on the bar path. The key to the press is keeping the bar close to your face. Yeah, so if you can do just do one more rep super slow, you notice it's almost grazing her nose on the way up. That's where you want the bar to be. That's the most efficient bar path. Um, maybe just do a, a couple of reps with the bar going away from you, right? So this is an empty bar, so Prashanti is able to manage fine, but if there was 30, 40 kilos on that, that bar is not gonna move. So bar goes close to the face. Now, second point is when the bar gets to about nose height, you wanna start pushing your head under the bar. Again, this is going to ensure that the bar finishes stacked over her uh, ribcage and over the middle of her foot. Now, maybe just show a couple of reps where you aren't pushing your head through and this becomes almost like an inclined press. Again, with a heavy weight, this is going to be a problem. Okay, so we have an idea of the brace basic press motion. We're going to talk a little bit more about bracing and tension. So the press, like any other barbell movement, is a full body lift. It's not just a shoulder exercise. The more tension you can create, the better you can breathe, the better your press is going to be, the heavier weights you're going to manage. So we're going to talk about this from the unrack, right? So Prashanti, when she gets set, before she takes the bar out, she's going to take a big breath into her stomach and unrack the bar. She's still holding it, right? She's getting ready to press. If she wants to, she can top up a little bit more air now. 
and then press. She's going to hold her breath, exhale tiny bit at the top and come back. And rack it. So, if you notice, she was holding her air, letting out a little bit and then getting her air back when the bar was back down on her shoulders. Um, that's breathing. Now, coming to the full body tension, right? So, you're not just pressing with your shoulders, your uh, lower body is also involved. So, I'm going to have her unrack it. Now, what you want to think about? Couple of things. She's going to think about gripping the floor with her feet. Just like squats, you want to grab the ground, screw your feet into the floor, whatever cue works for you, creating tension through there. Now, as far as her quads goes, she's pulling her kneecaps up. So her quads are locked in, she's squeezing her butt and she's bracing her abs for a punch. So all of that is super tight while she's pressing. Cool. So the press is a full body lift. You want to go through that checklist from your feet to your quads, to your butt, to your abs. Okay, last thing we're going to talk about is a lot of common mistakes you'll see. If you're new to the overhead press, you're probably going to do some or maybe all of these mistakes. It's fine. Uh, we'll walk through them one after the other. So I think the first big mistake we see is just range of motion, right? Uh, sometimes doing too much or sometimes doing too little. So maybe do uh, too little. So you can see this half press really commonly because obviously the hardest part of the, of the press is right at the bottom. So we, you want to avoid doing that. So you want to have a consistent range of motion. Wherever you're unracking from is where you want to bring the bar down to each time. Uh, sometimes uh, the other opposite problem happens where the range of motion is too much. Maybe just do a couple of reps. So you see, notice Prashanti is bringing it all the way down to her chest. The trouble with that is her elbows wind up going behind her wrists, behind the bar. If you remember vertical forearms, this is not a very efficient position to be in. Uh, mistake number two is lower back uh, just arching a little bit too much. Again, people tell you this is harmful for your back, all of that. That's not the case. Uh, what this does indicate though is often a tension loss, right? Remember we spoke about creating full body tension. So with a heavy weight, if you're pressing a two or three rep max weight, you are going to be leaning back slightly, but you want to be make sure, making sure you're bracing. So um, if you keep your abs on tight, if you squeeze your butt, your back is going to arch a little bit, but it's going to not get in the way of creating full body tension. Um, what is the next one? Elbow. Elbow position, yeah. So this is another common mistake we see. I might have Chirag just pan backs. Okay, so we'll just unrack the bar. So remember we spoke about keeping your elbows tucked in close and tight. So when she presses, she's going to try and keep her elbows close. A common mistake you'll see is elbows flaring super early. The trouble with this is it shifts a lot of the load onto the side delts and away from the lats, right? Again, side delts are a small muscle, they're kind of weak. They're not going to be able to stabilize a heavy weight. So you want to keep your elbows fairly close for the majority of the lift. So you will start to flare, but you'll only flare closer to the top. So maybe when the bar clears Prashanti's head is when she's going to kind of flare her elbows. Now. This is not something you want to consciously worry about. Um, it's something that happens naturally. What you really want to think about is keeping your elbows tucked in close to you for the majority of the lift. Um, what did I miss? That's it. Uh, the elbows going back. So the last mistake is, um, I'm just going to have Prashanti unrack. So we've kind of spoken about it when we spoke about range of motion, but I think it deserves uh, a separate section on its own. So just press the bar up. So common mistake we see from here is when she lowers the bar, her elbows are going to drop behind, right? So it's not just right at the bottom, but from the start of the press. Again, this is indicative of lats not being tight. That's why her elbows flare and drop behind the bar. So a useful way to uh, cue yourself out of this is to imagine doing a lat pull down on the way down. So. Uh, you're almost pulling the bar down into position. You're not letting gravity just push it down. So those are the most common mistakes we see on the press. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial. If you guys have any other moves you want us to do detailed videos of, we're going to be covering all the basic barbell exercises in the future. But anything in particular, uh, let us know and we will get on it. Thanks.